Right, this is going to be a very quick one. This is uh, something that I picked up off eBay because I have a SAS tape drive and a server in the loft and the tape drive would not want to be in the untemperature controlled loft. So I picked up this thing, the Atto Fiber Bridge 6500N. Fiber channel one side, SAS the other. Will it work? No idea because after I got this I discovered that my SAS interface is a half height so my fiber channel interface is a half height and my server does not have half height brackets so delays. Alright, on the what you might want to call the front or the back I don't really know of this is your status lights. On the back we have power, air, serial console, ethernet, fiber channel these are 8 gigabit ones the seller nice to lift these in here for me and SAS specs says is 8 gigabit fiber channel 6 gigabit SAS but that's 6 gigabit per channel on SAS so you're going to get some nice performance out of this thing certainly to get the tape drive happy inside we have exactly what you would expect we got a nice choke power supply that is pretty unremarkable nothing stands out about that one really it looks decently well designed but it's just your fairly standard multi-rail switching power supply there's nothing remarkable about it at all the connector on this looks suspiciously like an ATX power connector I wonder if it's the same pin out or not it would not surprise me the fan is noisy really noisy and the main reason I've opened this thing up is because I want to make it less noisy it is a server and piece of gear so noise is not really a concern calling is you can see from the PCB traces that the SAS ports go to this chip and the fiber channel ports go to this chip and these chips both go to this chip I am guessing that those are all A6 because what else is going to handle this kind of bit right the small chip here that you might initially think is a microcontroller is not. I looked it up, that is a dual gigabit ethernet transceiver. So that is just handling that. Where exactly the microcontroller for the thing is, or the uh, embedded processor, I can't find it. And as I can't find it, I'm guessing either it's built into one of these three A6 or it's running on this max 2 I believe that is an FPGA up there which makes sense I suppose if you need some kind of a high speed monitoring or something like that you might need an FPGA for part of it dedicated to the controller we've got a big bank of RAM five chips unusually don't see that often and the smaller one here which I'm guessing is just for the FPGA this looks like some kind of power management as does that bit but I'm not going to do a full reverse engineer on this thing it's got a buzzer so clearly it can beep at you if you do something wrong there's no fan failure monitoring which would have been nice pretty standard clock uh, 25 megahertz crystal looks like a phase lock loop multiplier circuit yeah it's Electronics wise, this thing is pretty simple because all the smarts is taking place in these three custom chips, so there's not much to see. Oh, when I get the new fiber channel interface, I shall have a go get this thing running. Oh, caution double pole neutral fusing that's nice, I suppose. Okay, not much more to natter on about, really.